Uh, here comes the evil genius of the sky. Genius being the operative word. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Io Shirai! Think about some of the accolades that Io Shirai possesses. She was a finalist in the Mae Young Classic and held the NXT Women's Championship for over 300 days. An incredibly impressive feat from a world-class competitor. The genius of the sky preparing to take flight. Superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! Ruthless yes! attitude and ruthless kicks. Half of the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. You know, it's hard to think at one time Dakota Kai was the captain of TV. Yeah, at one what? time, Byron, at one time. That included the entire WWE Universe. But how things have changed. Dakota is no longer the captain of Team Kicks. He's the leader and the ruler of Team Kick. And Saxton, you're off. Absolutely no love lost between these two women, Dakota Kai and Io Shirai. They both view the other as an inferior competitor. Yeah, Dakota Kai says she doesn't believe Shirai is even close to being the best in the world, as she claims to be. Meanwhile, Io has called Dakota a scared little girl who can't hang in the ring with a star of her caliber. There is clearly a score to be settled here, as Dakota and Io are both hoping to prove themselves right once and for all. at the leg, right across the face. This is obviously a very heated rivalry between Dakota Kai and Io Shirai. Corey, what's the key to winning a match when emotions are running this way? The key for both Candice and Io is remaining calm. If either competitor gets distracted by feelings in a match like this, it'll quickly be their downfall. Taking flight! Kai sidestep out of the way. Single leg drop kick. Uh -oh. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Kai drop kick to the spine. Shirai keeping her opponent in the Oh, the double foot stomp. Capitalizing on Shirai's mistake. in the bottom turnbuckle. Climbing to the top rope. Right? Watch out. She comes up empty. Placed in the corner. Oh, I saw it coming. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Shirai parries out of the way. Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. Hey. That's all it takes. She's taking some big hits here. Oh, a drop kick to the spine. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Boom! 
drop kick on the mark. Places her right in the corner. Oh, she is in a precarious position. Looking to inflict even more damage. Now it's gonna get ugly, it's gonna get bad up to the top row. Oh, wait a second, wait a second! And now she's looking to go top rope. It's not easy to survive after that, but Kai displaying a lot of guts. Shirai keeping the pressure on here tonight. And Eo is in command. Full court press being applied to Kai. Here we go, Shirai going up high. Up high. Big miss right there. from Io Shirai and Dakota Kai tonight is frankly astounding. Neither of these women are ready to give up. From the top. Oh, a piercing elbow. She's on her last legs here. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Launching. Oh, she lands hard. Io Shirai. Oh, the Koji clutch locked in. Oh, my goodness. Shirai certainly proved her point tonight, showing the whole WWE Universe that she and Dakota Kai are not in the same league. Quite simply, the captain of Team Kick could not overcome the genius of the sky. No question, Shirai was on a different level here tonight. But don't be so quick to count Kai out. I'm sure once Dakota's done recovering from this match, she'll be back with a bigger and better plan for how to deal with Shirai. I have to agree with Corey. Shirai may have proved her point for now, but Kai is a stubborn competitor who won't let this get put to bed.